was done in collaboration with Allison Transmission. Um, it's been going on for a couple of years anyway. Where we're going, and basically we go through all the engineering together. We work with them uh, doing the analysis. We, we provide analysis, they provide analysis. We go back and forth. We do the testing together. We did the validation plan. So we would send them transmissions. They did testing. We were doing testing. They would come up and look at our torn down parts and make sure, look at all the test parts. We would look at their test parts. And it was truly a collaboration joint venture to uh, get this design where it's at. Okay. Um, now, uh, tell me about uh, the responsibility this transmission has in uh, in kind of upping those towing numbers to that 35.5 mark. Yeah, I mean, this current six-speed has got a very impressive numbers, but this one goes farther. It can go to the 35.5 um, towing as well as it can get the 910 to the road in first gear, um, can do first gear lockup even with the 910, which really saves on the heat. And part of the thing with getting the, the high 35.5 and stuff is to be able to get rid of the heat when you're there. So this, by being able to lock up in first gear, it can really get rid of some of that heat, um, which is important to allow you to be able to drive and not have over you know, heating problems and over temp problems. So it, it truly gets there, and, and the 10 speeds gives you the lower first gear ratio to 4.5 instead of the 3.1. But uh, in terms of a difference driving, what what is kind of like that tactile uh, difference while you're operating the, the truck with this transmission? Yeah, I think you'll notice the smoothness in general. I mean, it, it seems it's very smart in getting the right gear at the right time. If you tip in, if you tip out, it's very smooth. And just the overall smoothness of the package. But the main thing I notice is like whenever you're trying to exhaust brake, a lot of times you use the engine braking going down a big grade. If you have larger steps, it can make it to where you downshift and now the engine revs are high and you got a lot of exhaust brake but now it's too much and you start slowing down so then you upshift and now you you don't have quite enough exhaust brake so as those steps get bigger it gets harder to really use it the way you want based on the traffic in front of you once you get into 10 speeds you can really start using that to get the right amount of braking based on the traffic around you and not feel like you have to constantly be tapping the brakes or going into too slow of a mode so it really allows you to control it better. So so really more more comfort, more confidence. Right? Yeah, you get more control of, a, of it okay. through the exhaust brake. And okay. it, it's smart enough to even say, he's not pulling a trailer, I'm not in tow haul, hey, let's just start in second. So it'll start in second gear, and then when you're pulling a big load, it'll say, oh, we should go, it'll be in first gear because we're in tow haul, and then it'll go to first gear lockup because we want to save the energy. So it's really a much smarter, you know, get you in the right gear at the right time. Uh, I'm just very, I think we're very proud of it. It's, it's, I think people are going to be impressed. It can get all of it to the road. It's a much smarter design. Um, it seems to really be durable, and we've done outstanding, you know, testing results.